Welcome to the Canon Brava's Ring channel. Today I will talk about anterior vitrectomy. Three important points: incisions, triencinolon, and cuts. Then let's start it. Step one: triencinolon. You can see in this video how it is important to use a triencinolon to identify the vitreous. This is the first step. And now, what is wrong with the next videos? Let's go! You can see, I can use the triencinolon in the anterior chamber, identify the vitreous, start the vitrectomy, the anterior vitrectomy, but pay attention how the vitreous came to the main incision because this incision is too large and can produce important retinal detachment. Look how the vitreous came to the main incision and can produce retinal detachment. The next video is the same. How you can see how many vitreous came to the main incision because this incision is too large. Then how to fix it? How you can see in the right image, it's important to do two new incision between 1.502 millimeters to seal the tip of the vitreophagy. You can see in the red square how we can use this new position to get the vitreous in the main incision. Another to show how it's important to do new incision. And the next question, some surgeon, there is this doubt. What I use first, cut IA or IA cut? The answer is cut IA. First, you need cut the vitreous and after aspirate. How many cuts is another doubt. How many cuts? The maximum. If your device there is 1,000, if your device have 2,000, you use the maximum cut to cut the vitreous. Then, after I show you the triocinolon, I show you new incisions, I show you cut IA, and I show you about the cuts, let's start. This is a good anterior vitrectomy. I use a triocinolon to identify the vitreous. You can see how I go to the main incision, above the main incision, to cut the vitreous. And you can see how the incision are sealed and how there is no vitreous in the incision. Now you can see how is in the end. A little vitreous now to cut it. And now the eye is prepared to implant the IOL. You need to confirm if is there IOL support, but it's not for today. It's the topic for the next class. But is it the best way to anterior vitrectomy? No. The best way to the anterior vitrectomy is the posterior via. Using a trochanter is the best way, but I know sometimes not possible, has a lot of hypotonia and it's impossible to connect the trochanter or you are in a device to phacomusification. And now 
e o finish do vitrectomy, Every, everything is clean, what to use? Now I can use a IA cut. You can see, if you use a IA cut, you can first aspirate the cortex, how you can see, aspirate the cortex, and if necessary, you pressure the foot more and start to cut again. Hypotonia. Hypotonia is a difficult problem for posterior capsular rupture. I have two uh, forms to conduce this. Number one, the vitreous bubble. I report this new technique two years ago, and you inject a air bubble in the anterior chamber and use the OVD to push the air bubble to the posterior chamber. This bubble works like a barrier and you can aspirate the cortex how we can see in these two videos. Now we can see. And the, another point is anterior chamber maintainer and posterior chamber maintainer. Every cataract surgeon needs a anterior chamber maintainer and posterior chamber maintainer. Believe it me, you need these two devices one time in your life. Then the next video is IOL implantation in posterior capsular rupture. And thank you for your attention. And more videos you can see in canabravawink.com or in my YouTube channel. And see you in the next video.